Hello, and this is a video to demonstrate how to get information from your Google Drive and your uh, email to a personal account. So this video is meant for people who are leaving the school district. Uh, it could be a senior graduating school, it could be a school employee who is retiring, or in best case scenario, you have won the lotto and you're out of here. So how do we get what's inside your Google Drive and what's inside your email to a personal Google account? So that's what I want to show you today. So we're going to assume that you're going to a personal Google account, all right? If you're not going to a personal Google account, what you would do is you would go to google.com slash takeout. If you go to google.com slash takeout, you can use this program to download everything that's in your Google account and it will generate a zip file. And you can take that then and do whatever you want with it. Anything that's in your Google Drive will download as Microsoft uh, Word compatible or Microsoft Office compatible files. Uh, your Gmail will go into um, a different kind of archive that you could then upload to like Outlook. Now, if you're going to transfer though from one Google account to another, so for example, I have here an at disd.org, this is a G Suite account, and I want to transfer that to my personal Gmail, I can use a different program. So I go to takeout.google.com slash transfer. This allows you to literally transfer your account to another Google account. This will walk you through. So for example here, it can see enter destination account. So I'm going to transfer this to my personal Gmail account. I'll type in my email address and hit send. Now in my personal Gmail, which I have right here, I have an email. It says I need to verify my account. I can say, let's say, get confirmation code. There's my confirmation code. I will dump that in right here and hit verify. Once I do that, it says, okay, what do I want to transfer? This found things that are in here. Now, um, it will transfer other things. The one thing that you may run into is if you have uh, Google Sites, if you have a site that's made on the new Google Sites, you cannot transfer that to a personal Gmail. And that's because the new Google Sites is not yet available uh, for personal Google accounts. Uh, so you may run into a little snag there, but otherwise everything else should transfer. So you can see I'm gonna transfer my drive and transfer my mail. I'm gonna hit start transfer. Now, depending on how much stuff you have, it will depend on how long the transfer takes. I purposely made new accounts with like nothing in them, just so that it would go nice and fast. What you'll see is once stuff transfers, let's refresh this window. You can see it's gonna give me a little email, the stuff is being transferred. But what I'll also notice is over here on the side, oh, I guess it's not done transferring yet. There's actually gonna be a label showing me um, the email that came over. Now let's check out the drive of my personal account. So I'm in my personal account here. I can see it made a new folder right here. If I go into that, I can see these are all the things that were in my um, school issued G Suite account, but now it's in my personal. Right, so everything transferred over to that accordingly. Now if any of these files were shared, you can see this was a non-shared file and this was a shared one. Transferring it um, copies it from my school one and puts it into my personal and it breaks the shares on these files. All right, so you don't have to worry about these files still being shared with anyone. Uh, in your personal account, they aren't. Um, th those are still tied into your uh, G Suite account through your school. All right, now if we see, let's see, I think my mail is done now. Yep, if I mouse over here on my side, I can see I actually got an email saying my content has arrived. And over here on the side, I actually have labels showing everything that was moved, all right? So I'd actually sent an email um, from the transfer account to my personal, and you can see it showed up. So the nice thing is it doesn't clutter your inbox. It actually labels it over here for you to make it a lot easier to find and organize. So that is how you use Takeout. And I'll put that up here again. So in case you missed it, takeout.google dot com slash transfer. So once again, you can use takeout.google.com slash transfer, and you can use that to transfer everything uh, to your personal G Suite account.